All right, welcome back guys. So let's start working on some of this detail here in the back. Now, I wanna select this surface and start creating a sketch. And let's grab this line tool. And we'll start somewhere around here at the bottom. So we'll click once, let's go down just a little bit, click again, and now let's slant this to somewhere around here. And let's just take this to the center line so it closes out this profile. Now let's right click, hit OK. And we can select this profile and press pull it. We wanna press pull it towards the uh, vehicle. Give it some thickness and that looks fine. Let's hit OK. Now let's go to the Create drop down and select the Pipe tool. Now I'm gonna choose this edge here and what I wanna downscale this pipe. So this is gonna act as a seam later on once we cut it. Let's hit OK. Now we have that seam. Now let's select this surface and create another sketch. And let's grab that line tool. And from this uh, center line, we're gonna click once, drag horizontally, and now another slanted. And with this profile we just created, we're gonna press pull this inwards. And once we mirror the entire uh, vehicle to the other side, we'll uh, start modifying this even further. And we're making some good progress so far, guys. Hopefully I didn't lose anyone just yet. So uh, let's start working on the bumperette. So let's create a sketch on this surface. And let's also turn on our reference so we can see this a bit better. Let's grab that two point rectangle and we'll start somewhere right about here and we'll drag it beyond the actual reference. So that looks good. So let's press pull both of these profiles at the same time and we'll pull them away from the vehicle and it will give us a nice little rectangular shape. And we have this reference here that we can use as a guide. So change it to new body and let's hit okay. Now let's hit, I have to go into fillet mode. We're gonna select this edge here and this one. And let's just round this off. That looks perfect, let's hit okay. And let's repeat this same function. So we'll go back to fillet mode with the hotkey F. And we'll select this inner edge and this outer edge here. And let's just round these off just a tad bit and that looks great. Now let's select this top surface and create a sketch. And what I wanna do now is offset this. So I'll use the offset tool right here, select the perimeter and I'll just downscale this a bit. So we have that nice thickness once we uh, press pull this. So let's press pull this top surface. And I don't wanna go all the way through. I just wanna have a nice base at the bottom. So this looks great. Let's hit okay. Now what I wanna do is go to the back view now I want to select this surface here in the middle and create a sketch. And I'm going to use a, my line tool and directly down the middle, I'm going to create a line and this will act as my mirror line later on. Cause I'm, I'm going to cut this. So let's create a line from somewhere around here. Let's go to the left and let's go down at an angle. Now we can go to the create menu and we can select mirror. I'm going to select this line and this one. And for the mirror line, it will be the center. And let's hit OK. Now we can trim off this line and this line. So now you can see whatever I do to one side happens to the other one. So that's just symmetry. And let's also trim off these lines here. Because if we wanted to split the body, it wouldn't act correctly because of the symmetry. So now we have to go and grab our line tool once again and connect these two points. Now we can split the body so let's finish sketch. Let's go to modify split body. We'll grab our body to split and for the tool will be that line we just created. Now let's go to the layers and let's right click and remove this. That looks pretty good. Now we can hit after go in filling mode and I just want to round off this bottom while we're here. Just adds more realism. And with this top surface, we can select this and create a sketch. And let's finish sketch. That gave us some uh, geometry so we can right click and press pull this to create more, more geo to play with. Leave it unjoined and let's hit okay. Now let's hit after going to fillet mode. I wanna grab these two bottom edges. And at the same time, let's just move these to round that off. And let's repeat that same action to fill it. But we'll grab these two edges to round off the top. This looks great. Let's hit okay. And while we're here, we might as well go back into fillet mode and let's just round off this top edge here. So let's pull this in, make this a bit smoother. And that looks great. 
Now, let's round off. Let's actually uh, click this inner circle where we created that pipe earlier. And let's just press pull this a little bit further down. Now, if we go to create and select pipe, we can create a, a seam right here that helps with the realism of the actual model. And this is downscale. This is just a little bit. And let's set it on cut and hit OK. And before we forget, let's go back into fillet mode and let's fillet these bottom edges here. So let's select these one by one and fillet them separately so they have a uh, variety. Now I'll go to fillet mode once again and we'll select this line here. Now we'll enter it once again and we'll just select this entire line here. Let's drag it into about here. That looks great. Now let's start combining these pieces together. So let's grab these bodies, hit join and hit OK. Now lastly, we'll just hit fill it one more time and we'll just grab this last line and round this off so it matches the rest. And that's it OK.